Hello guys and welcome back to another GTA 5 modding tutorial. In today's video we will be installing Simple Trainer for GTA 5 in the year 2024. Uh, before we do get into this video, I would really appreciate if you could like and subscribe as it really does help me out. And let's just get right into the video. And by the way, I will be covering all the requirements for the mod as well. And I'll be taking you through it all step by step. So let's get right into the video. So the first thing we need to do is look at our main game directory. And to do that, all we want to do is go to Steam. In Steam, go to your library. And go to Grand Theft Auto V. Then go to the little Manage tab over here. Click on that Manage tab. Then hover over the Manage here. Go down to Browse Local Files and click on that, okay? Once you've done that, go ahead and minimize Steam. Once you've minimized Steam, it'll come up with your Grand Theft Auto V main game directory. It'll come up here, just in your file explorer. Once you're here, guys, if you go back into your common, just at the top there, as you can see, I have a dash copy. Basically, it's a backup, and I say this in every video. I do recommend you back up your game files before modding, and I'm going to show you quickly how to do that now. So, when you go back into the common, you click on Grand Theft Auto, and you right click on that, and you click Show More Options, then you click Copy. Go underneath here, right click, show more options, and then click paste. Uh, that might take a while, but that'll basically get, uh, get you a copy, which is a backup version for your game. Which, so if anything happens to this, instead of after reinstalling, you always have this. And I really do recommend that. Anyway, if you go back into Steam apps as well, if you see that common folder, go ahead and drag it underneath desktop where it says to pin to quick access. Once you do that, every time you close down File Explorer and open it, you can always click here and go into your main game directory, so it's a lot quicker. Anyway, let's get into the tutorial now, guys. I'm just going to put my main game directory over here, okay? So let's go ahead and head to the browser, okay? Um, and all the links will be in the description. So the first link is script v. Go ahead and go down in the description. It'll take you to here. Go ahead and go down to download. Click on this download button here. Go ahead and download that. Uh, once you've downloaded Scriptuk V, the next link is scriptukv.net. Um, make sure it's on the latest. Scroll down, go to the latest assets, and click the one called scriptukv.net.zip. Download this one. Once you download that one, the next link will be Simple Trainer for GTA 5. Simple Trainer. Right. Um, for this, you just want to scroll down to the current version, the most latest version. Click this little download button here, and then click this big download button. Go ahead and download that one as well. Uh, once you've downloaded that, um, go ahead and extract them somewhere on your PC. Once you've extracted them all, go ahead and follow these steps, okay? Go ahead and pull up your main game directory on one side and pull up um, the three extracted files from what you've just downloaded on the other side, okay? First of all, we want to go ahead and install ScriptUp V. Go ahead and open this um, folder here. Once you're in there, there'll be three files. Go into the bin folder. In here, there'll be three other files. Go ahead and highlight all of them and uh, hold left control and deselect to native trainer.asi. Make sure you've got scriptukv.dll and dimpot8.dll selected. Once you've got them two selected, go ahead and drag them two into your main game directory where it says move to Grand Theft Auto V, then let go. Then refresh, all this refresh. And once you've done that, um, you can go out of that, and out of that. Now we can delete that because we won't be needing that anymore. Now the next one will be scriptukv.net. Go ahead and go in there. Now you'll see a few files in here. Just select these ones. Don't select the license or the readme text because you won't need them. Once you've selected all these um, scriptukv.net files, go ahead and drag and drop them into the main game directly where it says move to Grand Theft Auto V. Just go ahead and drag and drop them in there. Go ahead and refresh. Now once you've done that, go out of that. You can delete that now. Now the last one is um, um, Simple Trainer, Trainer V. Go ahead and open that folder there. Now in here, uh, select Trainer V, which is the configuration, and then select Trainer V.asi uh, when you're holding left control, okay? Once you've selected Trainer V.asi and Trainer V, go ahead and drag them and drop them into the Grand Theft Auto V main game directory where it says move to Grand Theft Auto V, then let go, refresh, go out of that, delete that as well refresh now you can close that now you can close the grand theft auto main game directory and now i'll go ahead and we'll get into the game and i'll show you how to open the menu and navigate through it so i'll see you guys there okay guys so once you get into the game to open simple trainer all you have to click is f3 on your keyboard you only have to click that once 
So once you click that, it'll open the menu here. To navigate it, guys, it'll be, it'll be on your numpads. To navigate the menu, guys, it'll be on your num num. To navigate the to navigate the menu guys it'll be on your numpad make sure numlock is on so then you can navigate it to go down it's two to go up it's eight and to enter it is five okay as you can see there is a bunch of options with simple trainer is a really good um is a really good trainer to be fair for stuff like lspdfr but i personally use menu but this is a really cool menu i'm not gonna show through all of it though because um, you guys can figure that out yourself and just go through it, see what options there is. But this is basically it, guys. And also to close it, you can you can um, you press the zero on the numpad to close it. But that's basically the end of this tutorial, guys. That's how to install Simple Trainer. I hope this helped you out. If it did, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.